Agreeable Gray, SW7029. One of the ultimate neutral paint colors. It's extremely popular, some might say overused, but one thing that can't be denied, it's Sherwin-Williams' best-selling paint color that seems to be just as popular as ever. In today's video, I'm going to tell you my updated view on the color. I'm also gonna give you some color pairings and some trim color options that I think go really well with it, all for a neutral lover's dream color palette with a bit of fun mixed in as well. So if that sounds good to you, then do me a huge favor. It's actually not that huge. Click the like button for me. Tell YouTube we're doing a great job on our six videos a week. Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray is a popular neutral paint color that works well in many settings. It's a great choice for both modern and traditional homes and can be used in a variety of different ways amongst a variety of different interior design styles. It's a versatile paint color that can be used in any room inside your home, really, that can help create a tranquil and inviting atmosphere that seems familiar for some reason. Agreeable Gray is more of a soft gray with a hint of beige that works really well, in my opinion, in larger spaces as well as small areas. The subtle hue adds a subtle and calming effect to your home without feeling overpowering in nearly any circumstance. That's what makes it agreeable. One big reason it's so versatile is how dark or light it is. It's LRV, which is the light reflectance value. It's 60. And this means it's a pretty perfect color. And I guess this means it's at a 60 out of 100 in terms of lightness. That's how you can kind of interpret that information. Pretty much the perfect place to be for wall colors. When you put agreeable gray in a more traditional home with a traditional aesthetic, it can be used to create a timeless look with its muted tone. And in a modern home, on the flip side, it can help to create a more contemporary feel because it has very subtle coloration. So it kind of works in both ways in kind of different ways. Now we're talking about a color, right? So what kind of subtle color is agreeable gray? The thing is, it's so balanced as a neutral between beige and gray. It's not quite either, in my opinion. It's pretty much a perfect blend of the two. Sometimes depending on the ratio with other colors, a bit of added gray and warm beige can give you an occasional green touch that can show up in the undertones. But agreeable gray doesn't usually have this problem. And that's good because a lot of people are spooked by a green undertone. It's a neutral aspect helps it coordinate beautifully with a variety of other colors, whether you're talking about light and bright hues or those deep and bold shades. It can be used as a neutral backdrop for other colors or just as a very subtle accent in a room with other more muted, lighter tones. I really think that Agreeable Gray is a great option for nearly any home, whether you're looking to create a calming oasis or just a modern and contemporary vibe. This versatile paint color can help you achieve your desired look. What more could you possibly desire? You know what else can help you? Some Paint People approved color pairings, and I got three wall colors and two trim options for you. The first one is Neutral Ground SW7568. It's a lighter, warmer counterpart to Agreeable Gray. Neutral Ground is neutral in the sense that it's more of an empty canvas color because of how light it is. It has a light khaki feeling that favors the warm side of things. Agreeable Gray, on the other hand, is a little more neutral in the sense that it's more balanced between warm and cool, but I could easily see neutral ground being used just as prominently because of how passive and harmless it feels. This is my light choice that can create an airy feeling in whichever room you want to use it in. Spare White is a Sherwin-Williams color that is light and a bit cool leaning that can also help add even more brightness to a room. It is a somewhat cool neutral white with a subtle green undertone that can create a very tranquil atmosphere. It's even lighter than neutral ground and obviously lighter than agreeable gray, not too far off from being a stark white. It's light but not too white to be used on walls. And I think it'll give you a much different aesthetic because of that cool touch within it. I honestly prefer a green undertone compared to a blue one in this case because green is actually a baby step towards warmth, which the first two colors already have. This could really be great in bathrooms because even though it's light in this context, it's a secondary color for me. So not necessarily something that I would paint the hallway with, but those other rooms that are a little offshoots of each other, Great choice. Next up is Composed SW6472. This is a beautifully vibrant aquatic teal that's even cooler temperature wise, but does contain that bit of kind of a coniferous green. I guess it's somewhere between like a balsam fir 
and a blue spruce for all my Christmas tree buffs watching. This is the beautiful dose of color this neutral palette needed. The first three are pretty passive, some leaning warmer and then one leaning cooler. Composed gives you even more fresh coolness to complement the other colors, but at the same time it gives you that really strong dose of color to really punctuate whatever aspect of your design you want to. Now let's talk about trim colors. So these are two paint color options to paint your baseboards, doors, frames, all that stuff with. Anything that isn't your walls and I guess your ceilings, these will be great. So the first one I want to recommend is Pure White SW7005. <laughs> it's one of the top whites by Sherwin-Williams. Not really a mind-blowing choice. It's kind of a common basic choice. But I love it because it has a touch of yellow warmth. But ultimately, it's one of those easy peasy off-whites. Not enough warm to make it feel like it's old yellowed paint but also not too stark where it's just a little unnatural looking. It sort of has a good, happy medium, clean, but not disgustingly sterile. Peppercorn would be my dark trim color choice. And honestly, I picked it for a similar reason because it's very balanced. It's a neutral color technically, but taken to a much darker level. So this could be an awesome choice on doors specifically, but even on trim, like your window trim or your door casings, and baseboards for a really more bold, contrasty look, if that's what you're looking for. Here's the palette all together, and check out this video on another Sherwin-Williams color. Also includes another entire color palette, so why not check it out?